Well, welcome and thanks for attending uh, the briefing on the, the campaign for Pepperdine. Just last Saturday uh, at a gal event in downtown Los Angeles, more than 950 alumni and friends at LA Live joined together to launch the public phase of this unprecedented campaign. The official theme is Changing Lives, which is the premise behind every priority we have set across the university to change the lives of students in ways that are deep, wide, and everlasting, and in turn to prepare students to serve and lead, to become agents for positive change around the world. Our campaign is the third major fundraising effort in Pepperdine's almost 75-year history and the largest to date. Our goal is $450 million focused on student-centered priorities. All, cam all campaigns begin with a quiet phase, and we are thrilled to announce that we have already raised more than $250 million in gifts and pledges, more than half our goal. The campaign is set to run through July 2014. Let me offer a brief look into the campaign and ways that are, and offer ways that our alumni, friends, and foundations can help us achieve our goals. The campaign for Pepperdine centers around four specific aspirations. Number one, to advance learning, knowledge, and scholarship. Priorities in this category include endowed scholarship for, for students, endowed chairs and professorships for faculty, teaching institutes, lecture programs, and classrooms, lab, and library resources. Number two, to honor God and our heritage of faith. Here we seek to build a permanent endowment for the university's Center for Faith and Learning, supporting student internships, student service grants, retreats for new faculty and staff, campus speakers, and special programs that affirm and celebrate our Christian worldview. Number three, to build community. Several important capital projects are part of this quest to enhance the student experience across the university. Priorities include a new junior level residence hall and commons building, a 5,000 seat events center for sports and major programs, the build out of our Mullen Town Square, creation of a library of the future, and a learning commons within our Payson Library, and a major renovation and upgrade to our Odell McConnell Law Center. And finally, number four, to respect diversity and promote global understanding. Key to this priority is, more, is a more diverse student recruitment, but also outreach by students and faculty to the underserved in our inner cities and in the far corners of the globe. From our alumni waves of service movement to Project Serve and the global justice programs at our graduate schools, Pepperdine seeks to serve the world community. Before I turn the podium over to our president, let me mention some recent campaign gifts that reflect two of the many dimensions of our wonderful donor community. Quietly in the months leading to the public launch, our Pepperdine faculty and staff have stepped forward to be the first givers to the campaign. I am so thrilled to, to be able to announce that 70% of our university faculty and staff have already made gifts to the campaign for Pepperdine, all because they believe in the work that we do. The mission of their university is all about changing the lives of students. We are so proud of our faculty and staff support. Of the more than $250 million that has been raised to date, we have a commitment from one of our most faithful friends to endow the Institute for Law, Religion, and Ethics at $20 million. This gift will enhance the vitality and the excellence of our School of Law and fully endow its institute. I offer these two examples because they represent the range of support that will be required to secure Pepperdine's stature on the international stage of higher education and to transform the lives of young people that we educate. Gifts both mighty, both modest, both mighty and modest will fulfill the goals of this ambitious campaign. It is strategically timed to bridge Pepperdine's 75th anniversary celebration that begins later this year, and we hope by then to be well on our way to success in the campaign for Pepperdine. To share his vision for the campaign, President Andrew Benton. Thank you, uh, Senior Vice President Hinkle. It is a pleasure to be your colleague in this very important endeavor, and I want to add my own word of greeting to each and every one of you and my thanks that you're here with us today. Nearly 75 years, beginning with the hopes and dreams of uh, George Pepperdine. We've been an institution committed to changing lives. The campaign that we have launched affords us an incredible opportunity to become, we believe, a premier global university, one of America's greatest. 
The question that begs is, what will be our special light? What will be our contribution to that unique horizon? Simply stated, we will underscore, strengthen, and enhance what we've been working toward for a long time. Let me read these words to you very carefully. They are chosen for their special impact and effect. Pepperdine University will be a preeminent global Christian university known for its integration of faith and learning, whose graduates lead purposeful lives as servant-minded leaders throughout the world. We want nothing less than that. As Keith mentioned, through the campaign for Pepperdine, we will raise $450 million. But just as important, and perhaps even more important, it will enable, ennoble, and embolden those who change for lives, change for good the lives of those who matter most, our students. The campaign for Pepperdine is nothing less than a campaign for students and for their hopes and dreams and for our hopes and dreams for them. So what is a campaign and why is it important? In the broadest terms, a campaign is a gathering of people, values, and ideas and resources united to support and strengthen a deeply held belief or cause. We have many deeply held beliefs at Pepperdine University. Some may ask, what will Pepperdine become as a result of this campaign? And I would answer that the campaign for Pepperdine will strengthen and secure a mission that is so powerful, yet surprisingly fragile. Many doubt that Pepperdine can be true to the pursuit of academic excellence and our heritage of faith. Nearly daily, I am pressured to choose either being good or true. We must refuse to choose. We must be true to both. And why would we want the change? The marketplace of ideas and values is moving toward Pepperdine, not away from it. We see some of the most elite institutions in the nation beginning to define themselves in terms that we've used for decades. They do so because the demand for the education that we provide is much in demand and is rising. Keith summarized the four aspirations to which each of our priority goals is anchored. Through them, we intend to be the very best at bringing about positive personal change in the lives of each student so that they will, in turn, transform their communities, our culture, and eventually our world. Our unique blend of academic-driven, values-based education makes that possible. The campaign for Pepperdine will protect and strengthen that unique blend. However, a campaign is much more than just a set of goals, projects, budgets, or accounts. The campaign for Pepperdine is much more. In fact, the campaign for Pepperdine is a living community. As I shared with the Pepperdine associates gathered at our recent public launch, we are the campaign for Pepperdine. Indeed, our success will be assured through the confidence and support of our faculty and staff, our alumni and friends, businesses and foundations, and fans of Pepperdine across California, the nation, and the world, all who believe in the unlimited potential of the students we educate. And so as we embark on this unprecedented campaign for students today and tomorrow, let me close by acknowledging that Pepperdine alone will not change the world, but we believe we are educating those who will. Thank you very much.